Good morning, this is Mark Farrar with Not Square Design, and today we're going to do something I have been trying and trying to figure out, and I've got it down. We're going to put custom icons in our 3D Space Mouse. I'm going to do it for Chief Architect Software. Um, you can do it for anything. Um, so finding where your buttons are located for different programs uh, would have a different path, but I'm going to show you real quick how to do it for Chief Architect, and then you can move on to other things. So I got to switch between windows. Hopefully, I could do this smoothly, and um, you'll be able to see what's going on, how I'm doing, what I'm doing, and um, we'll go from there. So the first thing to do would be uh, to go down to your buttons down here and you're going to have a um, little 3D connection and it's off the screen. So let me switch screens here real quick. You're looking for this guy right here. Pop that open. Now select your buttons and um, real quick I'll just show you what I've got so far and we're going to continue from there. So if I were to switch back over to here and I hit my radium button, I've now got a line command, a measure command, a break command, a copy command. Let's put a command here. And um, it used to just say shift K because that's the shortcut it was assigned. So let's fix that. And it's not that hard. So if I come back over to my buttons here, this is the one I'm I'm um, I'm on my tool, my Space Mouse Pro Wireless. If you have other tools, they'll be listed here. But uh, pick the one that you want to work with, and then um, I'm going to be working to change my radial menus. And so, where I want to do that? So let's see. We're going to click on the program. That I want. So I have in my other window, which you couldn't see. Let's just do that real quick. So um, if I'm if I'm clicked in, in any other thing, so I'll bring that over so you can actually see it happen. Um, and where's the mouse? There she is. Bring it over. So it says Windows Explorer. Now it's going to disappear. And I'll bring it right back. But as soon as I click on here and then I click back, now it's on Chief Architect. So now I've got my radial buttons. So I'm working on this one here, this, this radial button one. And um, it's got a whole bunch of its own radial menus. And so I'm working on this section here, which is the radial button one set. And if I go to macros, and then I go down to a new macro for my radial mouse, but I want to go new macro, or actually, bring it over. Let's just get over in this black where we can see everything. So now that we're, we're switching it to the chief architect. Now, once I'm here, I want to go to um, my radial button, radial menus, and then I'm going to be editing radial menu one. When I do that, you're going to see these are the four that I've created so far. And you can't see the picture right here, but you can, and you'll see how I do it. So let's go with Shift K. So as far as Shift K goes, then I want to know what did I assign to Shift K? Because you may have assigned something different. So the first thing I need to take a look at is what did I assign? So I'll come over here and I just leave this open. Once I've got it open, then I can go through them and I want to go to my tools. Where are you? Tools are hotkeys and my custom hotkeys. Here's my list. And if you click on this hotkey, now you can get them all kind of grouped together here at the bottom. And so I'm looking for my shift K. So I'm going to go down to S's. And my shift K is going to be my camera view tools perspective full overview. So now when I come back to this side, 
and I want to switch this, I'm going to click on this here. I'm going to go to macros and you need to go all the way to the bottom and select a new macro. Here, you're going to search for, and you can pick any of these, but if you want the ones that are in chief, then choose the file <clears throat> out of the directory for chief, which is going to be in your C directory under your program files, under chief architect, under, I'm using X15, and then I want, uh, let's see if I can remember it. And then resources and buttons. Now in these buttons, you can search, um, I think you know the name of it, so let's take a shot at camera and camera tools, all sorts of stuff up here, but I'm not seeing the one that I'm after. Some of these dark ones are harder to see until you highlight them. You can see it a little bit better when you, when you scroll over it, but I'm not getting it there. So I'll try looking under uh, perspective. Now well, there's perspective PNG. So once I've tried a couple things, I may just have to, and I just made this huge so that I can, I can just scroll through it and find the one that I'm after and then insert it. So I'm going to go find it and then restart. Okay. It took me a moment, but I found it and it's called Fover the consumer. <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to say open. And it's going to put it right there. I'm going to hit select. And now it's going to put that icon right there. Now I need a macro name. And so in the um, in chief, it's actually called perspective as the child tool. Perspective um, full overview. Now that's going to be in my key bar as well. So now I want to assign it the macro, which since I've already assigned a macro in there of shift K, all I have to do here is type shift K and that's done. You can do a combination of macros and, and you can make it multi-step if you'd like. For me, shift K is what I need. So I'm going to hit save. And now I've added that to my toolbar. And so if I go back over to my chief side, let's take a look. And I'm going to cancel this toolbar here. And when I hit my number one for my radial menus, I now have perspective full overview tool. If I come across it, swipe it, it is going to create or should create. <laughs> there we go. A full perspective overview. And there you have it. That is how you create a menu item. And just for kicks, we are going to do one more, um, just in case you need to have that repeated. And so let's try and go through a little quicker this time. So I need my custom hotkeys open. I'm going to go ahead and choose to select it by the hotkeys. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to my other window for you guys to watch. Come over here. And now I've got control G and what does control G do in my chief? So I want to scroll down until I get to control. Keep going. I have set control G to be center object. So now that I know that I'm going to go back to the other side and we're going to set it to that. So control G. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to macros. We're going to assign a new macro. So scroll down. A new macro. Now I need to get the, um, the center object icon. Now this should take me back. I shouldn't have to go to the folder again. And now if I put in center, let's see what I get. Center between. Uh, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Text center, center line. So apparently I'm going to have to look a bit and see if I can find it. Um, and let's just try with maybe C and see if we can look around. So I will find it and unpause. So it wasn't too hard to find this time. It was just C 
E-N-T-R. It's the E that was throwing it. So I'm going to grab that symbol. Now that I've got it, I'm going to hit open. And you can pick the color if you want it to be the dark one or the light one. They've got a center and center object. Um, and I'm going for the one that looks most like the child tool that I'm used to seeing. Now that looks black to me in here. So I'm going to go back to the other one. Let's go to down to, uh, I've got C, E, well, C, E, C, E, and let's try the blue one. See if that looks better. And that does look a little better. So now that I've chosen it, ooh, open, I hit chose again, select it, sorry. Now I've got it in here, it's blue, it looks good. So now here, I'll all I have to do is assign it what I said I had, which was Control G, already assigned, and then give it my macro name, which is Center Object. So I will have both the text and the symbol in my radial menu. Save. So it says Center Object. That's now assigned to number six. And if we go back over to take a look. And just see what happened. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to hit my radio menu one, and I now have center object. I had nothing to center, of course, in this image, but we know what we're dealing with. So um, that's how you set menus. I hope this was really helpful. I've been searching for this video forever. So I hope this helps everyone out there. This is Mark with Not Square Design, and happy modeling.